In April of 2017, a 10-car racing circuit set showed up at USA Walmart stores. It says racing circuit right here on the package. I mentioned that this was a race team scheme. Here you have the Diora with the classic race team decorations. Now, when I talked about it being a 10-car set, hardly any of the cars actually had race team blue colors. While there are some great cars in this set, Personally, I don't need to have every color of every car, and to be honest, the off-red and the white isn't exactly my type of race team scheme. In the past, they've done black as well, by the way. Many times during its history, Hot Wheels has sponsored race teams, and in 1992, Hot Wheels sponsored the Jack Baldwin Trans Am Camaro. There were official limited edition collectibles, but then again, there was also basic releases as well. Here we have the Camaro race car. This is number 242. As you can see on the back, it has a copyright right here of 1991, so it was released the next year. There's a peek at the back of the package if you remember any of those cars. Collector number 242, it was before they even had series or anything like that, first editions, nothing. They just released cars and they had collector numbers. And collector numbers were kind of to be they're beginning to be a thing in the 90s as well. The only thing is wheel variations. <laughs> That's how they wound up re-releasing the car. They would have wheel variations a lot, a lot more than nowadays. Here's number 254, Solar CX-4. And this also had a wheel variation as well. By the way, the top one has gold metal speed. I forgot exactly what they did to the wheels. I don't know if it's faster than faster than ever models or not, but uh, I haven't tested them yet. This one also is 1991. That race team color decoration on the Camaro race car became a big thing, so they went ahead and started in 1995. They had a four car race team set. I believe they had a set in 96, 97, 98. It was called race team, but nowadays they use this decoration and call it racing. There have been a lot of cars released with the race team decorations. Here's just some that I happen to have loose in this container. Which brings us to the focus of this Truck and Tuesday presentation. Here you have the Racing Hauler Pack. Check it out. Comes with Solaire. Remember I was talking about wheel variations. This one has silver uh, lace wheels. And the single had gold lace wheels. This was probably available in the singles as well. I didn't take the time to look it up. But look, you get a you get like a, a truck, a box truck. You get Solaire. And Solaire has a moving feature, which is probably why we haven't seen it in a long time. A lot of Hot Wheels are losing their moving features. And you get a flatbed truck. Oh, a truck, a flatbed truck. Here you have the back of the package. Racing hauler pack. So see, I like the blue, but then when they start doing this other colors, eh, not my thing. I still might have picked it up, though, for the Dragster. Uh, Dragster actually was uh, in a race team single as well. If you look at the package right here, it says Arco Toys, a Mattel company. So they would use this Arco Toys company to come out with these types of packages. Hey, look, two-year limited warranty. Well, since this is 2017, uh, that warranty is no good anymore. As far as the copyright on this one, 1998. So that means this package is, this package probably showed up in stores late 1998 or early 1999. It's kind of small print, but in the bottom of the package right here, it says over the road power trucks. Let's go ahead and open it up. It has tape. Sometimes I wish they would have this tape uh, still in use. This way people who swap out cars uh, I don't know. They find they find ways to get around using that tape as well. Careful. Cut away. Hey, here's the two-year limit of warranty. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get them out of their package. Had a clear cover. Oh, more tape. Let's 
check out that Solaire. Remember I mentioned that it had a moving feature? Here you go. Opens up in the back. I don't know, how, I don't remember how far, there you go. That's how far it opens up. There's your engine bay. Very nice, it stays attached. Has a, uh, slides around on a metal hinge. White plastic base. There's the lace wheels, as I said. Driver's compartment, canopy. Now let's go ahead and check out the trucks. Actually it has Hot Wheels wheels. You can see it has body molding on top for the air horns. Racing team, Hot Wheels. Mm -hmm. Now the wheels on the Arco toys even though they're Hot Wheels size, yeah, I think they had their own wheels made. I get the feeling that the Hot Wheels were made in a different plant and then shipped to Arco Toys. Actually, the package, I believe these were made in China at the time they were, yeah, made in China. And the vehicle on the back, it says a vehicle could have been made somewhere else. Let's go ahead and bring this down. <laughs> it has a... He has a low splitter, low front end, so uh, kind of hard for him to get on. I'm going to have to help him. And look, <laughs> he kind of low right there too, rubbing on the body. But nonetheless, it works. At least this comes down to the ground. So for play value, you just drive him on up there. There you go. And in order to have him to not fall off, there you go. Now let's check out that box container. Not box container, box truck, silly goose. Box container or something else. Got a Hot Wheels logo on the roof. Hot Wheels Tampo, as we say. I don't remember this one. The uh, the cab didn't have any printing whatsoever. None at all. This, this is a sticker, by the way. I'm sure you guys noticed that. This is a sticker. Champion, Goodyear, racing team, Hot Wheels racing team. You have a six-wheeler, plastic box, metal body, metal body, plastic trailer. I don't know if it opens up. I don't get the feeling it does. Uh, no, no hinges. That's it, just for decorations. Let me see if this can, let me see if this comes off. I don't know if you can detach this from the flatbed. Well... That's about as far as I'm willing to go. You know what, it has this here, so it should come apart. Uh, otherwise, it's just decoration. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, it just pops right in. And then you can leave your ride. And then you gotta give it a little help if you're gonna hook it back up. There you go. Come on, Solaire. It's time to go. Fun toys, when it came to these special packages, I, I only picked them up if there was a variation of a car. Like they, there's a pack with a 57 Chevy and a, I think a 57 T-Bird. I picked that one up because the colors were exclusive to that package. And if you like to have exclusive colors, that's pretty cool to own. Otherwise, if they just reissued cars that were already in the singles, I don't need it. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see any of my other Truck Truck and Tuesday videos, here's a playlist and a couple other suggestions. Thank you for watching, and have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.